do a another uh, pour pour paint. <laughs> um, and I am actually going to use a few different things. So I had gotten this from egg. I had bought some frozen egg rolls, and they were a five pack. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and I was like, this would probably be a perfect thing to pour, to do a acrylic pour. So, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I I have a small canvas. Um, it's not, um, it's a 12 by 16. It's a Monte, Monte Marti painting. Or canvas, rather. So, it's actually a decent quality to me. I consider this brand. A decent quality um, trying to hold on to you know disposable gloves have doubled over the last year like literally doubled their price like in a year or two uh, ridic like I had to like do a double take so whatever type of disposable gloves I can get my hands on even if it's from the restaurant for doing seafood <laughs> I will I will get those disposable gloves so I just got some cheap old disposable gloves for right now I've already picked up some uh, these to help support my canvas and um, I'm, I'm still kind of learning my setup obviously is not the best actually won't do it like that um i'm just trying to protect the floor and get my my craft done so i've already picked out the colors and so what we're going to do i got a little seat that i'm going to help take uh so i am going to do i think a mixture. I picked out the color some days ago, so unfortunately I don't remember all the colors. But uh, I'm gonna tell you why what I have so far, and I'm trying to fill one uh, turquoise, light, light blue. Um. That's a lamp, oh, a lamp black. I didn't realize I had that out. And this one is, got paint all over it. It's a, uh, I think it's one of those light, no, it's aqua, aquamarine blue. That's what it is. So, um, let's see here. So I got four positions. And I was actually thinking I'm going to use the top one just to pour. So I'm actually probably just going to use the four places. So I'm pouring the aqua marine. I think I want in the, I'm going to put it in the center. I haven't coated the, um, the board yet. So I'm using all of that. I, I think I was trying to get rid of the paints that are about empty. So they'll be gone. So that's, I think, the um, aquamarine blue. I'm trying to put stuff in, the, in my little trash bag as I go. Okay, this is turquoise. And we're doing pour painting here. I'm going to put that in the center as well it almost looks like a mint green um but it's working i haven't put my gloves on so this hopefully i'm gonna keep my hands clean before i get my gloves on but okay so that's the second paint um put in the trash my little trash bag Put my gloves here for right now. Um, the light blue. I'm not sure if 
sure what color. This is probably a mint green. So let me see here. I'm going to put this on the outskirts. It's not a lot. I actually probably could have used that to paint the base of this. Um, it's gone. Okay. Probably was a mint green. I was trying to remember. And then um, this last color is, I'm shaking it up. It's a light blue. I don't know how this, all these colors actually look about alike. So I don't know if this is what this is going to really look like at the end of the day. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to mix a whole bunch of colors. And I'm not even, so what I have right now, I don't want to pour it out. But you can see uh, the colors are are a little different um they are various degrees of green and blue um mint green mint green to like a pale cloudy blue um trying to decide you know what i think i'm gonna use the rest of this black to coat this I know it's, it's going to be weird, and it's probably, I don't even know how it's going to turn out, but let me go ahead and get the gloves on, because uh, I, don't, I got a feeling this is about to get messy. So let's put the gloves on, and I do have a hole in these gloves already, but it'll be all right. Uh, it should still be okay. Um, I got a spatula. It already has some paint on here, but we want to still use it. Um, I'm a, I don't know why I want to use black, but we're going to start with the black. Finish this black out. It's a white canvas. And we got black. I'm going to start with black. All right, we're using up this paint. <laughs> um, I don't know that this is going to be enough paint to, because I have to, when I do these pores, I realize I do have to have some paint on the canvas just to get it started. It won't flow right if I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more paint on here. So I got black and a um, little bit of the light blue. It's already pouring. And what I'm going to do is not much green in this first one. I'm going to pour the rest of this light blue in there and get rid, you know, Thank God that I have, I have a tablecloth down on the floor, so thank God for that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I love these colors. It's just, I'm experimenting, and um, these kind of have a marine kind of feel to it, which is like water, um, and... Water can be calming, so that's why I say why not, why not, and the only reason why I chose some black to start with is because um, sometimes you need a contrast, and whatever you start this base out with, sometimes that base shows up, and the pour, like you'll see remnants of what you started out with, um, I do want to see if I can make sure I get my corners covered um, as much as possible. So, because I do want the corners to actually kind of fall off, you know, drip off. Um, so, I'm going to hopefully I have enough paint that I can get 
to these corners. I got what two or three done, two or three corners done. Let's see if we can work it to get a little bit more. That paint goes fast, so hopefully with me, I've poured enough in those four that this is going to benefit me. I still don't feel like I, I have a lot of paint on the canvas, so hopefully this is just enough to do what I need it to do. So we'll see. So right now you can tell how tilted a little bit that that's what I have. So let's let's start our pour. So we're going to pour. I think I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do it long ways. So let's do all right. I don't know. How this is going to flow but you see the color you actually can see the color that I poured and the pores are you know I've been trying to do a hand hand paint over acrylic so that's what this is about it's about me trying to get something started that I can um, look at and try to see if I can create something else beautiful out of it. So I am, ooh, it's not bad. Surprisingly, I um I think I got about the whole thing covered, right? I think I have it. Yeah. Oh my god. I I actually really like this. Uh, uh, that was not planned, so now uh, we created something even more new. <laughs> I have a new design, and you know what? We're going with it. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to the world of poor. Um, this is totally unexpected, but I actually... I actually freaking like it. So, this is what we have so far. I don't want to have it tilted too, too long, too far. Because, unfortunately, it's a still probably enough paint on here to move around. But, that's one complete. That's one completed. We're just going to leave this, this accidental beautiful work of art <laughs> the way it is so we're going to just let it dry and if I want to draw something on top of it I can but I got a beautiful backdrop with um I like that aquamarine blue I like the black I actually like it so that's it that's how we actually recorded this master art well stay tuned